Are you smarter than a Minecraft potato? Today we'll be running 10 different tests in Minecraft to determine the average IQ of a Minecraft potato. These tests will be testing the potato of Minecraft to its absolute limits to see exactly where we stand with our household delicious friend. So with that, let's get down to the tests. Now for this IQ test, we're going to be going with a basis standard of 100 points for the potato. Everything the potato does right, we're going to add it 10 points. For everything the potato does wrong, we're going to subtract 10 points. Pretty simple, right? But at the end of the video, we're going to deduct what is the average IQ that the potato will have once all is said and done. So, let's continue. Alright, so for the first test, can a potato move? I mean, kind of. Alright, for that first test, I'm going to give it the full 10 points. Yes, moving is nothing really special, but I mean, the potato wasn't really moving. He was kind of levitating in a different plane of existence. That, that's kind of cool, so... Oh, what the hey, 10 points. Alright, so for the second test of the day for the potato, we're going to be testing the potato's mental strength and checking out whether it's smart enough to survive or go to its worst life. In this case, going to a nice, wonderful piece of ground to grow in would be the optional and ideal scenario. However, going to the villager that would probably eat you is the wrong decision. So we're going to be testing this by doing it three times and seeing the average way which the potato goes. If it goes to the villager more than twice, it's stupid. But if it goes to the dirt more than twice, it's pretty smart. So let's go and flick the lever and see what this potato does. Okay, it seems that our first potato is stuck in limbo. Let's see where our next potato goes, and oh, it goes towards the villager. That's not good for Mr. Potato, that's one strike against it. And the second potato, it, oh, it, it goes straight to the villager. I think that rules out any possibility of this potato being smart. Just for one last time, yeah, no, th this potato has no hope. You see, it could have done it, it, it could have done it, it could have chosen the good life. But it said no. Ah, oh, potatoes. So, after our second test, I'm going to have to subtract another 10 points away from this potato. That leaves our potato with an average score of 100 back to exactly where it started, because let's be honest, if the potato keeps going towards the hungry villager, I mean, it doesn't deserve 110 points. Okay guys, we're now going to be taking a look at our third test for Mr. Potato. This test will be determining whether our potato can safely land for its survival, or will it get the decision wrong and fall into its doom in a fiery pit of lava? So, let's see what our potato friend does once we press the button. For this, we're going to give our potato three chances to survive. So, let's see it. If our potato can at least survive once, he'll be given the points. But if not, he will be sent to the Shadow Realm. For our first potato, and... Whoa! Okay, so our potato made it on the first try. Is this some type of Illuminati or something? Okay, time to look at our second potato. It looks like this time our potato chose death instead of survival. So, for one more time, let's see what our potato will do. And bam, our potato went completely lopsided. Alright guys, that concludes our third test. Luckily for the potato, he only needed to do it once successfully to get the point. So, I'll award the potato a point and get it to 110 points total after 3 tests. Let's see if this potato can, can keep up the momentum. Alright guys, so for our 4th test, we're gonna see if the normal Minecraft potato can ignite TNT. So for this test guys, we have hooked up a dispenser with a lever and a pressure plate with TNT. We're gonna be seeing if the potato has enough starch in its body to actually land on the pressure plate and cause it to the TNT to blow up. There's no real reason to test this, it just seemed pretty cool, so we decided, hey, what the hey. Alright, so we're gonna flick and see the first, and the first potato seems like it could be able to do it, and there we go. I think that answered the question too well. Okay guys, after our fourth test, I think the results answered everything we we're gonna ask, so I'm just gonna go ahead and give the potato Another 10 points to get it to 120 total after 4 tests. For our 5th test of the day guys, we're going to be asking the question, Can Potato Survive Cactus? 
For this test guys, we've hooked up Cactus on a piece of sand with some water trail and finally once again our favorite machine called the dropper to test if a potato is strong enough to survive the spiky spikes of a cactus. Here's a hint, it probably won't end up well for Mr. Potato. Anyway, let's see what happens when we flick the switch. And just as we would have thought, the potato did have no chance of survival. For a second chance at survival, let's see if our potato can do it. It looks like no good things come twice for Mr. Potato, as once again, his fiery doom ended in water. Okay guys, that's going to wrap up our fifth test for the potato. This potato absolutely failed horribly at the cactus test, so unfortunately I'm going to have to remove 10 points to get him back to the total of 110. Let's move on with the sixth test. Welcome to the sixth test of the day guys. Today we're going to be answering the question, can a potato survive being smashed by an anvil or will it become smashed potato? So for this test it's actually really simple. All we have is a giant pillar with an anvil on the top and we're going to be seeing once we release the anvil, will it completely crush the potato or will it survive and live another day? in the world of Minecraft. So we're going to release the string holding the 100 pound anvil or heavier and we're going to see what happens to this little potato. So we're going to give it a couple shots to see if anything happens and then deduct whether he's going to get points or not. So let's go ahead and see what happens. Poof! And the potato seemed to survive. He does look a little bit more mushed than normal but he did just slightly move over and didn't completely explode into 100 pieces of potato. So, we're gonna say, so far, so good. Alright guys, let's give the potato one more shot and drop the anvil and see what happens. There we go, the potato hits, or the anvil hits the potato, and once again, the potato moves slightly, but it's still in 100% okay potato shape. Oh boy, what are we doing with our life? But anyway, the potato survived, so success for hit. So after six tests guys, I have to say, the potatoes did okay so far. And for this successful anvil drop, it's going to get another 10 points to give its total 120 after 6 tests. Boy, at this rate, it may just overreach my IQ, which isn't high. Here we are guys at number 7 on our test, and this one is going to be the most craziest of them all. And by crazy, I mean completely pointless, but it's still pretty cool to see. What we have here is a really hungry sheep who hasn't eaten in about a millennium and one piece of grass on the opposite side of this little enclosed area. We're going to see if an average Minecraft potato can defend the piece of grass from the sheep, or will the sheep get its dirty way and eat all the grass it could ever dream of. For this contraption, it's really simple. We just have a sheep who hasn't eaten in a long time, in a little fenced off place, and then one potato on a piece of grass. It's going to be crazy, it's going to be interesting, but let's see what happens. So for this, I'm going to release the sheep, and we're going to see if the potato can survive. And is the sheep smart enough to eat the piece of potato? I will grass. It looks like Mr. Sheep is on his way. This is going to end up badly, isn't it? For a side note, if the potato can prevent the sheep for about 30 seconds from eating the grass, we'll give it the point. Well, I'm going to be honest. Um, the potato defended the grass. Not not a result I was expecting, but I, I guess we give the, the point to the potato? So that wraps up the seventh test, and by some miracle odds, the potato managed to defend itself and the grass from the hungry sheep who hasn't eaten it in a millennium. So for that, we're going to have to give it another point, which gives our total for the Mr. Potato at 130. Okay guys, so we're now at our eighth test, and it's starting to get down to the wire. For this one, we're going to see if a human can survive eating a poisonous potato and then being slapped by a potato in the face. If the potato kills us, it'll get a point. But if we survive, it will lose a point. So let's see what happens. Oh boy, I'm really not looking forward to this one, but I guess I must. Alright, let's eat the potato and see what happens. <laughs> It looks like the poisonous potato did not have enough power in itself to kill the human. So for that, we're going to have to remove a point from the potato, which will now give our potato a total score of 120 after 8 tests. Sorry poisonous potato, you didn't have it in you. 
Alright guys, we're nearly at the end of our test and separating the potato from ultimate glory is parkour and we're going to be answering the question, can potato do parkour? For this test, it's a really simple slime block jump. It's about three or two spaces separating each uh, platform and we're going to be seeing if the potato has the courage to do it. In the dispenser, we have about 20 potatoes, so the potatoes have 20 chances to get this parkour correct. If it can get to the part here with the end stone, it succeeds and we'll give it a point. But if it fails, we'll remove a point. To be fair, we're giving it lots of chances. As we all know, even the best of us struggle with parkour, and for that, the potato deserves chances too. So, 20 potatoes, parkour challenge, who will win? Let's find out. So far, not looking good for the potatoes. However, they did come really close, but we'll keep seeing what happens as we continue to drop potatoes widely at the slime ball. And it seems to be our potato friends were not able to make the parkour. Now this parkour is actually possible for potatoes to make, but in this time, our potatoes were not able to do it. So sadly, for our potatoes, they're going to have to lose a point. So that'll bring our potatoes score now to 110 points, which means currently after 9 tests, it is only 10 points above average human IQ. This is going down to the wire. Alright, time for our final test, which will be answering the question, is potato fireproof? Nope. Alright guys, that brings us to the end of our 10 tests. So, after 10 breathtaking tests for our Mr. Potato, we get to the average IQ of... Drum roll, please. Zero. Because, I mean, if you're dead, you can't really have an IQ, can you?